Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 235. Indirect Sympathomimetics. How does indirect sympathomimetics work? The way indirect sympathomimetics work is that they either release the stored catecholamines or they prevent the reuptake of catecholamines. Name the three indirect sympathomimetics. The three indirect sympathomimetics include amphetamines, ephedrine, and cocaine. What is the action of amphetamine? Amphetamine is an indirect general agonist that releases stored catecholamines. What are the uses of amphetamine? The uses of amphetamine includes narcolepsy, obesity, and attention deficit disorder. What is the action of ephedrine? The action of ephedrine is the same as amphetamine that it's an indirect general agonist which releases stored catecholamines. What are the clinical uses of ephedrine? The clinical uses of ephedrine is nasal decongestion, urinary incontinence, and hypotension. What is the action of cocaine? Cocaine is an indirect general agonist and it's a reuptake inhibitor. What are the applications of cocaine? Cocaine causes vasoconstriction and local anesthesia. What drug should you not give if cocaine intoxication is suspected and why? You should never give beta blockers if cocaine intoxication is suspected because this can lead to unopposed alpha-1 activation and this will lead to extreme hypertension. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.